Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today finally we have Oxygen OS 9.0 for OnePlus 6 and which is based on Android Pie. So guys, this is a stable version which we have received today. To update your device, if you are running Oxygen OS open beta versions, then you need to download the complete zip file and you need to flash it using custom recovery. Official recovery won't support and local upgrade also won't support. But if you are running stable version that is Oxygen OS 5.1.11, then you need to go to settings, check for system update. If system update is not available, then download the Oxygen OS updater application. And once you download, you should have an update available. As you can see, it says Oxygen OS 9.0, which is based on Android Pie. So you can download the complete zip file from here and update your device. Once the download process is completed, go to settings, system update, tap the gear icon towards the right hand side, select local upgrade and choose the file which you have downloaded and tap install now. And I'll get back to you guys once the update process is completed. As I've already updated my device, so let's go to settings, about phone. And here you can see Oxygen OS version is 9.0. Going to Android version, Android version is Android Pie with a security patch of 5th September 2018. And now you have the complete new UI for Android Pie. This is your quick setting panel. Swiping towards your right hand side will give you a new complete redesigned shelf. We have new volume panels along with a new recents menu. All these things were available on previous beta versions. If you guys haven't tried, then you should try this stable version which is right now available for OnePlus 6. So directly moving on to the change logs. So here is a screenshot what I have taken. First one which says is upgraded system to Android 9.0 that is Android Pie. Brand new UI for Android Pie as I've already shown you. So this is your settings panel here which is completely redesigned. We also have the new gesture for recent panel. After that they say new adaptive battery support. So this feature can be found inside settings. Under battery section you will have an option of adaptive battery. By default if it is disabled then you can enable it from here. This will help you in extending battery life. This will also adapt your usage and restrict the background applications which you don't use frequently. So after that they say new Android Pie gesture navigation. So there are three gestures available here going to settings. Under buttons and gestures, navigation bar and gestures. So here you have three options. One is the back, home and recents. So that will enable the navigation bar on the home screen. After that you have back and home button. So this is similar to Google Pixel devices. And if you want the complete full screen gesture, then you can enable this, which will allow you to access the complete screen. Swiping up will take you to the home screen. Swiping up and hold will take you to the recents panel. Swiping from the right or from the left will take you to the previous menu. Then they say updated security patch to September 2018 which I have already shown you. After that other new features and system improvements have been done. Later moving on to the next change log which is related to do not disturb and in that new do not disturb mode with adjustable settings. So let's go and check the do not disturb mode going to settings, sounds and here you have the do not disturb mode in which you can enable it from here and if you want to set the custom time you can set the custom time from here after that you have exceptions like call messages events and other sound we also get option to turn it on automatically and here you have few automatic rules then the gaming mode has been updated to version 3.0 so under that they say added text notification mode and added notification for third party calls so let's go to the settings again under utilities and here we have the new gaming mode under which they have added a new thing which says how to show the notification so here we have three options head up text only and you can completely block the notifications and other options like disable automatic brightness and network boost and the last change log which is related to the essence color support essence color customization so that can be found under settings display and here you have the essence color option in which you can customize the essence color as per your requirement. So these are the change logs what they have mentioned for this Oxygen OS 9.0. Now moving on to the camera and camera application is working fine in which front and back portrait is working there are no issues with that and other stuff like 4K 60 frame per second is available. Inside the camera application we have Google Lens integrated. Slow motion 480 frames per second at 720p is also available and that is also working fine. So guys that's all about Oxygen OS 9.0. 
We are not covering all the stuff as we already have many videos related to Oxygen OS Open Beta and in which similar features are available. Now talking about the benchmark results, I have used Geekbench application and Antutu Bench application. Under Geekbench application, single core scores 2410 and multi core scores 8908. With Antutu Bench application, the device scores 290,820. We won't be comparing these benchmarks to the previous one because this is a stable version and upcoming builds will compare the benchmarks also. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.